I will uh, consider both medical and surgical options. And medical options, there are some prescription medications, there's some non-prescription medications um, that I may recommend to patients. Uh, surgical options, obviously hair transplant surgery, if the patient's a good candidate, if that's what we think is the best option, then uh, large, uh, usually it's a micro, all micrograph sessions. We do fairly large sessions if that's um, what we're trying to achieve. Um, I also uh, will use both medical and surgical options on probably most patients. Uh, there's a role for that. If uh, during the consultation there are any red flags that come up, I may uh, refer the patient to a, a different specialist. Uh, that's typically more common with female patients uh, than with men. There's often more medical issues that come up in cases of female pattern hair loss. Um, the other thing is that I offer sort of total care to patients. I don't just uh, provide them with a hair transplant surgery and abandon them. I see them after their surgery for regular visits and also I'm available if there anything unusual should come up um, over you know the long term. It's not just a, a surgical visit and that's the end of uh, the patient care. It's, it's total patient care.